What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Un Crowd Otaku. We back at it again. Latest chapter of Shokugeki no Soma came out. Yes, I'm back on Shokugeki no Soma. My apologies for ever falling off, my boys. I owe y'all that. But it was I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling it during that whole um let's call it a training process. They really only did one team building process, but but yeah, so you got Yuki Hira going up against the number I believe she was six. The number six seed, Kino Kuni, who's a Soba expert. He had the outcooker in Soba. And I like that they gave a flashback when he was talking with, uh, gosh, has it been so long that I've forgotten everybody's names? I think it has. I'm going to call him Naked Apron because I can't remember his name right now. It may come back to me while I'm shooting this video. But yeah, you can hear him talking to Naked Apron. He was like, yeah, it's really going to depend on the theme. You know, you got to be prepared for everything. But what's the chances, you know, everybody in Elite 10 has one thing that they do better than anybody else. But what's the chances you'll draw that in, in, in the themes? And you can hear it like, ah, you're right, that would be some terrible luck. My boy, you got terrible luck because you drew it sober. So when she presents it to the judges who are, the judges are world renowned. They bring out, quote unquote, the Bible of food tasting so that they can judge impartially. And when she brings out, when Kina Cooney brings out her soba, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It goes right down the throat. They look down, they're like, I need more. Who ate all my soba? No! And the way she did it was that the soba was so good, you would keep eating it without realizing that you're still eating it. You would think, hey, soba master, she's done this for years on years. It's a wrap for my boy, you can hear her. Don't ever underestimate his dining experience. He got that fast food diner training going on. So while she made this delectable, this elegant, this, this so clean, so crisp, soba, Yuki Hira made instant noodle soba. Yaki soba, if you will. Deep fried the noodles, but he used a special type of flour so that the noodles weren't dry and, 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 and all the flavor wasn't cooked out of it. So they were still very succulent, very delectable. You see the words I'm using to kind of tantalize your taste buds? I hope y'all caught that. But yeah, so you can hear a soba was equally as good. When they were eating it, they got the little food explosion, and it reminded them of being at like a, a carnival or a midnight fair, things of that nature. Y'all ever had fried Oreos? Oh my gosh, deep fried Oreos are so good. Sidetracked real heavy right now. The food, oh man. That's why I can't really keep up with it. The food will get me every time. But yeah, so after the judges are eating that, you can hear was like, wait, I'm, I'm not done. Just like instant noodles, you got your season packet, pow, puts down two little cups. Here's your seasonings. Put as much or put as little on it as you want. That's the fun part of instant noodles. You can almost make unlimited amounts of dishes based on the seasonings that you use. Which is very true. And that's where you can hear his inspiration for the disc came from. Like back, we got a flashback when he was with his dad in the diner. He was like, yo, instant noodles is a hit. It's The creativity is off the charts. And that's what he showed here. The only downside is... They gave us the biggest cliffhanging tease I've ever seen in my life. Well, not in my life. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure does some really good cliffhanger tease. I forgot the JoJo Adventure's uh, theme song. Another video for another day. But yeah, so the judges are like, we know who won this. We are, we are unanimous in the winner of this matchup. The flavors were off the chart. It was so delicious. And then we wait for next week. That's exactly where it ends. Like, they're telling us why the person won, why it was unanimous, and then it ends before they announce the winner. Of course, Yuki Hira has to win, because their crew has to win. They got to beat Central. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Yuki Hira's going to win. Ishiki, why couldn't I remember him? Ishiki, Naked April is Ishiki Senpai. He's going to win. I'm thinking the copycat dude, Momoshiba, Momokiba, Momoshiba, he's probably going to lose. I feel like Takumi... He's been catching L's all season long. He won his he won his way into the competition. But I'm thinking Takumi may lose. Momoshiba may lose. And uh, Koga Senpai. Those three have to lose. The others got to win. You know what? Let's make Koga win. So really only Momoshiba and Takumi. They can catch L's. Yuki Hira can't lose. That's not the way this is going to go down. But uh, how did y'all like the chapter? How do y'all think everything is going to shake down with this, uh, this central showcase? The, the Regi Regimen de Shokugeki. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that social media jazz. Cause just like when they was cooking up in that chef's room, just like this beat in the background, my videos, bam, straight up fire.